Hi, I'm Matt, and I'm studying aerospace engineering. I'm learning how to analyze, design, and build helicopters, airplanes, rockets, drones, and spacecrafts. The two concentrations within our major are aeronautics, which is anything within the Earth's atmosphere, and astronautics, which is anything outside of Earth's atmosphere. One of my favorite projects was when I worked on NASA Micro-G Next, where my team designed and built a lunar exploration tool to sample rocks on the surface of the moon. We actually had the opportunity to have our tool tested at NASA's Neutral Buoyancy Lab in Houston. Hi, I'm Fina, and I'm studying agricultural and biological engineering. I'm learning how to design solutions to problems in the food, water, energy, environmental, and agricultural systems. In my major, you can concentrate in agricultural engineering or biological engineering and choose one of our seven specializations, which range from off-road equipment to renewable energy systems to nanoscale biological engineering. One of my favorite classes was AB224, Soil and Water Engineering, where we took weekly field trips to the AB farm to learn about runoff and erosion, water quality, and non-point source pollution. Hi, I'm Bongai and I'm studying bioengineering. I'm learning to tackle societal needs by using technology to develop solutions to issues ranging from human development to disease diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. In the last two years of my major, you can choose one of five tracks of study, which includes biomechanics, cell and tissue engineering, computational and systems biology, imaging and sensing, or therapeutics engineering. Bioengineering is where biology, engineering, and medicine meet. Hi, I'm Chicago, and I'm studying chemical engineering. My major has two concentrations, chemical engineering and biomolecular engineering. I'm learning how to apply chemistry in manufacturing or other industrial settings at larger scales. Like cooking pasta, we determine how much water we put in our pot, how much heat we need to boil all the water, and how much money we need to spend on raw ingredients. Alumni in my major have been instrumental in the development of products like Tide, Cheerios, Cottonell tissues, and more. What I love most about studying chemical engineering is its relevance in the real world and its applications in many different industries. Hi, I'm Ashmita and I'm studying civil engineering. I'm learning how to use basic science principles through tools of communication, math, and computation to develop and sustain a world of physical infrastructure. The curriculum prepares students to work in industries that focus on ensuring clean air, water, and sanitation, to improving our infrastructure and traffic, to protecting the population from natural and man-made hazards. My major has 10 different areas of studies that students can select from, seven of which are traditional areas, and three that are multidisciplinary programs. A few of the options include construction engineering and management, construction materials, geotechnical engineering, water resources engineering, sustainable and resilient infrastructure systems, environmental, transportation, and structural engineering. I got the opportunity to meet and network with other civil engineering students from across America and overseas through the American Society of Civil Engineers, which has been a highlight of my major. Hi, I'm Amanda and I'm studying computer engineering. I'm learning technical skills to work with and understand all segments of computing systems from top to bottom. Our curriculum covers topics ranging from application software to computer architecture and circuits. My major is where computer science and electrical engineering meet. It has been really interesting to learn about how you can code a program from the hardware level all the way to the software level. And that's what we do at the computer engineering program. Hi, I'm Diego and I'm studying computer science. I'm learning how to develop and optimize software that impacts how we conduct business, shop, research, entertain, and more. We study large sets of data and to understand real-world problems in order to make accurate decisions. Students can also consider a more customized curriculum by studying the core computer science courses and a second field of interest within one of our CS plus X majors. Some of the examples of these majors are mathematics, music, crop science, astronomy, linguistics, and chemistry. One of the most rewarding classes that I took was computational photography. It combined a passion of mine with my field, computer science, and I got to be part of some really cool projects like digitally taking out all the traffic and pedestrians from a really busy street or making an image that changes as you walk further away from it. 
One of the best things about higher level CS classes is that it allows you flexibility in choosing which courses you want to take. There's genuinely a large selection and you're sure to find a set of classes just for you. Hi, I'm Tara. I'm studying electrical engineering. I'm learning how to use electricity, electronics, and electromagnetism with mediums like wires, devices, space, and the human body to design new and improved ways to power the world. There are 10 specialization areas you can choose to take courses in your junior and senior years, like nanotechnology, circuits, acoustics, and remote sensing, just to name a few. One of my favorite projects at Illinois has been working with the solar car team on campus. I get to apply my circuit design knowledge from my coursework to designing printed circuit boards to help power a solar electric vehicle. Hi, I'm Matthew and I'm an engineering mechanics student. I'm learning how to find solutions to mechanics problems through math, science, and engineering principles. Engineering mechanics is similar to mechanical engineering, but we both look at mechanical sciences very differently. In my major, you can add a secondary field of your choice like acoustics, biomechanics, mechanical design, mechanics of materials, and much more. One hands-on classroom experience that stands out was my freshman year design class. In my program, we let our first year students dive directly into the design work of being an engineer. Research, design work, and prototype building are just some of the skills that are explored in your first year at being at U of I. Hi, I'm Carson and I'm studying industrial engineering. I'm learning how to make systems efficient at all levels, including materials, equipment, information, energy, people, money, and time. We focus on how to do things better by fusing engineering, business, and communication together. Computer science, math, production, management, process control, and psychology are all tools we draw upon to make improvements in efficiency and quality in the industry. There are five areas of specializations that students can choose from, and I chose the supply chain track, which will prepare me for optimizing material flow within a manufacturing plant. I had the opportunity this summer uh, to work for GE Healthcare on the manufacturing floor, where I learned a lot about optimization and the flow of material. Hi, I'm Ali, and I'm studying material science and engineering. During my time in the program, I've learned all of the different factors that go into the materials that we use every day and how we can make them faster and smaller and smarter and stronger. And if you really think about it, everything is made out of a material. So alumni in my major go into a variety of different industries. Some of them will go into renewable energy or space exploration or communication technologies. The list is really endless. During the last two years in the program, students have an opportunity to go into one of two tracks. So they can either choose biomaterials or non-biomaterials, which is typically polymers or ceramics, metals, or electronic materials. For me, I'm really incredibly grateful that I chose to study material science and engineering because um, it's really allowed me the flexibility to explore the things that I'm most interested in and it's also an incredibly tight-knit community. Hi, I'm Moy, and I'm studying mechanical engineering. I'm learning how forces act on bodies of solids and fluids, and I use those principles to design, manufacture, and control machines in complex systems. Our curriculum provides a broad, hands-on training in engineering topics like design and manufacturing, materials, thermal sciences engineering, and dynamics and controls. Mechanical engineering prepares students to work in many engineering industries and non-traditional areas like business, finance, management, medicine, and even law. One of the most memorable experiences I've had on my journey so far was working alongside my peers at the Mechanical Engineering Laboratory to complete our final Design for Manufacturability project. It was exciting to see everyone's hard work coming together. I'm looking forward to creating many more memories like this at the new Sydney Lou Mechanical Engineering Building. Hi, I'm Dylan and I am studying nuclear, plasma, and radiological engineering. I am learning how to develop and use nuclear energy and radiation in areas like energy production, material processing, homeland security, and biomedical uses, just to name a few. My major is at the basis of every product that involves microelectronics, like computers, cell phones, game consoles, and computer chips, all of which make career opportunities endless across many different engineering industries. There are three areas of concentration in my major, which are power, safety, and the environment, plasma and fusion science, and lastly, radiological, medical, and instrument applications. I couldn't believe I got the opportunity to participate in the research on a nuclear fusion reactor my first year. 
which I'm still involved in now. This was only made available to me because of my major. Hi, I'm Antonio and I'm studying physics. I'm learning how to advance the fundamentals of science like nature, energy, and matter to be used within many of the technologies we use today. Developing things like superconducting magnets that are used in MRI machines, cell phones, and fiber optic communication is one example of some of the technologies that physics majors study. There are many career options because we gain such an in-depth and wide range of knowledge of all the natural sciences. We learn how everything works. After starting the program, I was pleasantly surprised by how willing my professors were not only to answer course-related questions, but also to get to know me as a person. The physics department here at Illinois is a welcoming, family-like environment. Hi, I'm Ayana, and I'm studying systems engineering and design. I'm learning about all the engineering disciplines, how they relate to one another, and how they work together in a system. Our curriculum is the most interdisciplinary engineering major at Illinois, and it also covers key business concepts. In your junior year, you can choose one of the 18 pre-approved secondary field options, or create one of your own customized secondary field options to prepare you for the career of your dreams. If you have an interest in multiple engineering disciplines, then systems engineering and design is the right fit. I chose to major in systems engineering and design because the curriculum prepares me to succeed in whatever career path I choose. Taking classes in every major has maximized my skill set to use across the engineering industry. Hi, I'm Diana. I started as an engineering undeclared student at Illinois. This program gave me the opportunity to learn how my career interests fit into the various engineering majors. Many of the engineering majors are interdisciplinary, which means I could study a particular application of engineering. So take for example, robotics. So this program allows students to discover robotics from the materiality, the mechanics, the programming, or the circuitry. Engineering Undeclared is a perfect fit for students who have narrowed down their interest in engineering and just need an opportunity to explore a couple majors to decide. One thing I didn't expect as an engineering undeclared student was a creative license I was given in my CAD classes.